Hey, what's up guys? I've got a really cool little test for you. Um, everybody loves learning about themselves. This is why Ancestry.com and 23andMe are billion dollar companies because it's really cool to learn about yourself, your body, where you come from, because you can apply that knowledge to your future and you know improve yourself. So this is a really cool, really simple test that you can do in your home. It's gonna take you about five seconds and it's gonna tell you a lot about your metabolism and whether or not you're efficient at burning fat or you're more of a carbohydrate burner. And as you know, with the kids, ketogenic diet and if you follow me and with kind of the trend going on in the health field right now you know the more efficient your body is at burning fat well the obvious one the easier it is for you to lose weight and to keep that light weight off you know the less obviously obvious ones are it's going to give you a dramatic improvement in your hormonal profile um, you're going to see your hormones rebalance and get to where they should that's going to improve your cognition that's going to you know decrease disease risk lower inflama inflammation it's going to have a whole host of benefits. Um, so the more efficient you are at burning fat, that is a good thing. Essentially, irregardless of what your goal is, um, that's always a good thing because it's allowing you to tap into this huge reservoir of energy in your body. You know, even the leanest athletes can run a marathon or more on their stored body fat, whereas you know your stored carbohydrate stores are very finite. You can do essentially nothing and burn up all your in, your stored energy stores in the form of carbohydrates in less than 24 hours, very easily. And that's why a lot of athletes you'll see run marathons or these Ironman athletes athletes that are doing this very intense exercise for a very long time, they bonk or they crash and they just hit a wall and they just can't go any further. And this is what happens when you burn up all of your stored carbohydrate stores and your body is inefficient at storing fat. So it's like you've used up all this stored carbohydrate fuel and you have this immense amount of stored energy in the form of body fat, but most people's bodies are just so incredibly inefficient at burning fat that they can't tap into those stores. And that's when you see athletes bonk and crash. And that is what is going to get to the net this next little section about and this test on how you can test your metabolism. So it all comes down to the fun 21st century word that everybody loves to use, which is hangry. Who's been hangry, which is, you know, hungry, but with an A, which is hangry because you're hungry and you're angry. And basically you're so hungry that it is affecting your mood and you're irritable and all these things. This is the test. If you are hangry often, or you have been hangry, you are relatively inefficient at burning fat bar none. There is, that is, that is it. You're bad at burning fat. And the reason why is because you have essentially gone for a long enough period of time without getting your little snack or your meal that your body is basically running out of stored carbohydrates and it is trying to meet its energetic demands in a different way, but it's just bad at burning fat. So it has all this fat there to burn to meet its energy needs, but it's unable to because you're so reliant on carbohydrates because you eat so many sugars, because so many processed foods, your insulin keeps spiking and storing carbs and storing fat and storing insulin, insulin, insulin. And so that, and like every, and the thing that doesn't people don't understand is that any elevation in insulin level from its baseline essentially shuts down fat metabolism. So that is huge. That if, if there's one thing that I could tell you right now about insulin and about weight loss and about health, any deviation from insulin baseline is going to effectively halt fat metabolism um, significantly for the as long as it's elevated. So if you are snacking and you are spiking insulin with these little sugary snacks every once in a while, you are essentially just shutting down fat metabolism forever. Um, and so that's one of the really cool things about intermittent fasting is you go for a extended period of time, theoretically 16 hours of not eating and it's basically forcing your body to shift from carbohydrates to fat stores and that comes with a you know enzymatic upregulation of enzymes that are involved in fat metabolism it comes with you know hormonal balancing to shift your body towards delving into those fat stores which is a very hormonal thing um, and so that's the cool little tip of the day the little in-home tests you can do are you hangry do you know someone that's hangry if so, you or they are really inefficient at metabolizing body fat. And that is most likely because you eat a standard American diet or because you've you know, fallen prey to this 30-year-old fitness model where you need to eat every two hours in order to prevent you know, muscle breakdown. It's just, it's absolute garbage. So if you're hangry, you're not good at burning fat because if you were good at burning fat, your body would sh simply shift from carbohydrates to fats and you would still feel full. You wouldn't need to eat. It wouldn't affect your moods. Yesterday, I went 24 hours without eating 
and I wasn't even hungry, not even like a little bit. No, I could eat if someone like put that plate down in front of me and said, hey, we're having a meal together. It's not like I'd be like, oh, I'm stuffed. But I wasn't like searching for food. I wasn't running around, freaking out, yelling at every person that asked me a question because I was hangry. I just, I was good because my body was just churning through fat. That's the beauty of uh, optimized fat metabolism. That's the beauty of the ketogenic diet. That's the beauty of intermittent fasting. So if you're hangry, it's time to get after it. Have a good one.